How long ago did you build it? 20 years ago. I was in here with the, brand, uh, with the John Bisco. That's what we put it in with. And uh, there were four of us, and we just left to put it up at the, right at the beginning of the season so that the airplanes come down here and somebody could stay here and say what the weather was like for the planes coming in. And then they would fly on down to Adelaide Island at the time. It was before Rothera was built. And this was the staging post, ready for all the new scientists coming in for the summer. They'd come in here by the boats, and then the planes would take them on down to Adelaide that would still be stuck in the sea ice down in Marbury Bay. see how how well it is. The building is just as good as the day we built it, you know. The front rooms are still there, just the same as ever. If all the buildings have been built like this, the batch put up, it would be all right, wouldn't it? It's great. It's good to see my little handwriting from 20 years ago. Oh, there they are. Look, there they are. Well. That's how many that came ashore here? Just to take this up, what are this? 30 of us. 1892. He says here's not a quiet night punctured by occasional rotting donkey noises. The Simon Gill attempted to rectify a leak in the bloke job. Oops, I mean bloke tent. After a refreshing night's kit, the rest of us awake to a pleasant day of sunshine with the 20 knot wind on the ski way. We departed from our new friends at Lochroy and sailed west along the Bismarck Strait to Palmer Station on Anvers Island. The visual contrast between tiny, ramshackled Port Lochroy and the large, modern U.S. Palmer base couldn't have been more striking. Due to a busy research program, visits by yachts and cruise ships are restricted and must be organized with National Science Foundation one year ahead. Our request had been approved and we were appreciative to be given a quick tour of the base by the enthusiastic staff. The anchorage most convenient to the base was choked with ice and we had difficulty getting both anchors to set in a deep and rocky bay nearby. As Mahina Tiari has only one bow anchor roller, we must disassemble and stow the second anchor, a 35-pound CQR with its 30 feet of chain and 150 feet of line each time after use. What we're doing is putting in some waypoints from our present anchorage at Palmer Station to Faraday, considerably further south, putting in the first of the way stations for leaving the port and heading out. And as we approach the second way station, we will determine which of the two routes are best. One of them is charted but unsounded, and the other is fairly well used, so we want to be safe, pick the proper one. Uh, we're just putting it in the GPS to give us the uh, distance, course, on course, off course, how far off course, and distance to the next point. Our powerful and dependable Low Franz electric anchor windlass was essential for raising our main anchor, a 60-pound CQR, and the heavy 240 feet of 3 8 inch chain that followed it. We're presently hoisting anchor in Palmer Station, a U.S. Uh, Antarctic base, getting out through the icebergs to a point near the Outcast Islands. And at that point, we're going to decide whether to proceed through the Bismarck Strait and then down 
toward Faraday or down through the Nimrod Passage and then down. This area has not been sounded and properly charted. This is much more open through here. It's about eight miles further, but our choice, depending on visibility, may be to take the longer route just for uh, conservative navigation, which is always the best kind. station, our route was south to Faraday Base through the Lemaire Channel. We experienced a 30 knot northerly breeze and discovered our passage blocked by ice, forcing us to retreat 20 miles in 45 knot winds, arriving eight hours later to the haven of Port Lacroix. When attempting to raise our main anchor, we hooked a 20 foot long ancient whalebone. Two hours later, having freed the anchor, the weather had deteriorated, which made a good excuse to visit our friends ashore. Hey, listen, since you're the cook, we're going to ask you first. Is it okay if uh, you come for dinner instead of one? Yeah, sure. No problem. Okay, great. Um, what time's good, Dave? 6 or 6.30? I told you. I'm still planning on about yeah, 6.30 would be great. Oh. Yeah. What, what time of year was this? Uh, we left in September and got back in February. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can't sledge. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, you can't sledge. It's too cold yeah, around the midwinter. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. too dark on those last yeah. yeah. as well. Yeah. And the, the weather is, is too severe. Yeah. After a fun evening and many stories later, we hoisted anchor and sailed south, hoping the Le Maire Channel was no longer blocked by ice. next morning at Faraday to a rare treat of Mahina Tiari frozen in ice and penguins walking past the cabin port. It took some negotiation for me to maneuver our Avon rigid bottom inflatable ashore through the frozen ice. The Faraday base had been a British upper atmospheric 